Hi you guys, so I wanted to talk about the pressure that society puts on people to go to college today and why I don't like it. So growing up my entire life, college was just something that you were supposed to do. It didn't seem like I was done with school after high school. It was like college was a necessity. College is something that you have to do. And I just never thought about it any differently. And I always wanted to go to college. I loved school, I loved being in a classroom, and I loved learning. So it didn't actually negatively affect me, but I know that stereotype affects so many people and it's not fair. It's not fair that we live in a society that makes you feel superior to someone else because you have a degree or a piece of paper. It's, it's not accurate. It's not fair to say that someone is smarter than you because they did four years of schooling where 90% of it was drinking and then cramming for finals in the last like, you know, two days before winter break. Like, you know, like I think college is an amazing experience um, and it's different for every single person. Like my college experience was very different than someone else's college experience because I prioritized different things. But I loved the fact that I was able to like move out of my house have a bunch of roommates kind of live that like broke college life and you know live off of top ramen and like that was fun for me it was a fun stage in my life but if i was like someone else who had different things that i wanted to do and like was not invested in school at all i don't think college would have been beneficial i think there is a time when people will feel that like draw and that pull to go to college or to never go to college and i had a friend who didn't want to go to college right after high school and he just got a job and worked for a while, moved to a different city, and you know, a few years later now, he's starting to feel like, man, I, I want to go to college now. I want that degree. I want to like pursue a career that requires schooling. But if you don't have that drive at 18 years old, don't waste the money. Don't pay thousands and thousands of dollars for a degree that you might not use. I think people are so scared of saying like, I'm gonna take a gap year, or I don't wanna go to college right away, I'm gonna try working for a while and see what happens. Like everyone is in such a rush to get through college, to start their career, to start their family, and it's like, go, go, go. I was the same way. I took summer school f all four years that I was in college. I you know, took extra classes. I wanted so badly to like graduate early. I studied abroad. And like, it doesn't matter. Like one year earlier doesn't matter. One year later doesn't really matter. Like there are so many people still figuring out this like college world in their early 20s. And I just have never liked how people pressure you to go to college when it should be your decision. But like so often people feel like they're disappointing their parents, they're disappointing their family if they don't wanna go to a four year. Like even my teacher, I was in honors English when I was a senior in high school or AP English. And my I told my teacher that I was gonna be going to the community college. No, he like freaked out. He said, you have to apply, you have to take the SATs and you have to go to a four year. Like you're too smart to not go to a four year. And I'm like, I, I don't know. Like I just didn't see the requirement or the necessity. I didn't want to waste the money going to a four year. Like I would have loved to move away earlier, but I loved my junior college and I had an amazing experience and I probably learned more at junior college than I did at my university. But I guess I just want you guys to know that like, a college degree, a piece of paper, it doesn't define you and it doesn't make you a better person. Like I have said before that I really wanna go to grad school and I would love to get a master's degree in philosophy. Of course, that is gonna do probably absolutely nothing in my career in the future. Um, not that many people are super excited about a master's degree in philosophy. However, I love philosophy and it would be like for personal growth and development, I would be like going to grad school and like learning about philosophy. That is something that I would think benefits my life. Like I would do it no matter what. I'm not doing it now because it's like $25,000, but if it was free, I would be there in a second because I love learning. And when you find things that you like learning about, it makes the experience so much more enjoyable. But like, I wouldn't want to go get a master's degree because I feel like 
having a master's degree makes me like a better person in society or because it makes me feel smarter than other people or better than other people. Like I just hate that stereotype and I hate that people actually buy into it. I don't like it that, you know, there's people walking around with PhDs feeling like, you know, they own everyone else below them because they have like more education. Like one of the movies that really made me think about this was Good Will Hunting, which was a Matt Damon movie. And it just shows that someone who has no formal education can be a million times smarter than someone that has paid for so much schooling. Like there's a difference between being like genuinely smart and interested in like knowledge versus just book smart, someone who's just memorized books. And that's the other thing. I've always valued education. I've always valued knowledge. And, and so I'm not trying to say that being educated about our world is not valuable because it's absolutely valuable. I just don't think you need a four year college education to get that same knowledge and value. Like there are so many people who graduate college and feel like I could have learned all of this on Google. Like I did nothing in my classes. I learned nothing. It didn't benefit me at all. And unfortunately that is a very common thing that a lot of people feel after they leave college. Some people feel like, you know, it set them up for their career path and they are like beyond excited and it was perfect. And then there's other people who were like, yeah, I paid all this money for a piece of paper and now I can like check the box that I have a bachelor's degree. Yay me. And I guess I just want you guys to think about the pressure to go to college. Think about the way society views people who choose not to go to college and also question whether college is the right decision for you. Like, like I would have gone to college again in a heartbeat. I loved school. I loved college. I want to go back to college. But there are some people who did not want to be in that classroom. There are some people who literally want nothing to do with like school and it's just not for them. And that's fine. Like you have to be realistic and you have to be okay with going against what society tells you is normal and going against what you feel like you should do. And especially nowadays, there are just so many other career options that don't require a college degree. Some of them just require experience and work experience is so valuable. And I remember graduating from college and every job application I looked at wanted all of these years of work experience that school didn't count for. And I'm just like, how on earth am I supposed to get a job when I've been a full-time student not being able to get this work experience? Like there are a lot of things that you should look into before going super far into debt or wasting a ton of money. Um, and then another thing that I wanted to touch on was this idea of placing your worth and your value in your education or in your like formal education because when I first transferred to my university I was a straight-A student I got all A's literally like my entire life I think I might have gotten a couple B pluses when I was in elementary school but that was it and so the idea of having a 4.0 and the idea of having you know really really good grades um was something that I used to like define myself not as if it made me like better than anyone else but just for me like I felt like I wasn't good enough if I didn't get straight A's and so when I transferred to my university I was an idiot and decided to take five of the hardest core classes in my major all at once my first semester there so I literally spent most of my first semester like just studying so much. Like I just remember being so stressed and so overwhelmed and so tired that whole time and freaking out because I was on the border in a few of my classes between an A and a B. And to me, that was like the worst thing. I was like, I can't ruin my streak. I can't not get an A in all of my classes. Like, and I didn't even plan on like going to grad school. Like it really didn't matter, but it mattered to me because I had for so long defined myself as like a straight A student. And 
I literally placed my worth in the letter grade that another teacher would give me. And when you have done that for so long and it just becomes expected that you're like a straight A student, you feel like you have to live up to that pressure. And so I remember I got all A's in all four of my classes and in the fifth class, I got a B plus and I was extremely annoyed. It's a long story, it doesn't matter. Point was, I was devastated, which sounds so stupid because I know most people are like, four A's and a B plus, like you did awesome your first semester at college. But for me, I was like, I failed, I failed. And I was so sad and distraught. And then I remember my roommate telling me, she said, you know, your grades don't define your worth, right? And that was like the first time, like the light bulb went off and I realized that that's what I had been doing. I had been defining my worth based off of the letter grades that teachers had given me. And I was like so thankful that she said that because it really just kind of took a weight off of my chest and allowed me to take a breath and just be like, you're right, like grades don't define our worth. Like there are so many people I know that are like C average students, but they try so hard and they're doing so many amazing things in life. And, and they realize that a letter grade doesn't define their worth, that one assumption that a teacher makes about the quality of your work doesn't define the quality of your life. And it was just like so, I mean, it was kind of annoying because I got all A's for the rest of my two years there. Um, so that one B plus still hangs over my head, but I think it was like a really good learning experience just to like, to come to terms with the fact that we use so many things to define our worth, whether that be like a college degree or a high school diploma or the grades that we get. And it's hard when you're living in a society that literally says like, you know, check this box on the job application if you have a bachelor's degree or check it if you have a master's degree or a high school diploma. It's like you feel the need to have certain things in life or else you're behind. But there are so many other paths that other people take. And I just want you guys to realize that you don't have to go to college if you don't want to go to college. You don't have to get like higher education if you don't want to. You have to in yourself figure out what is right for your life, what will make you the most fulfilled and the most happy, and don't rush. Like you're not on this insane time crunch. Live in the moment. You might enjoy college five years after high school much more than you would have enjoyed college right after high school. So enjoy the life that you're living right now. And I know it's hard to push away the pressure from family and people who feel like like they want you to live a certain way, but I think it's important to remember that the pressure they're putting on you to like conform to what society thinks you should do, it's not a reflection on you, it's a reflection on them. It's a reflection of their worry and their fear that you doing something different might not work. Like they're only kind of forcing you into this box because it's safe. They feel like it's safe. It's the path that's already been paved away for you. And and so it's not that they don't believe that you can do something different. It's just that they're scared. They're scared to see you fail. They're scared to see that it might not work, but that's okay. Their fear does not have to define your life. You can define your own life and you can make the decisions that are right for you. So. So I just want you guys to think, think about what it is society is telling you you have to do and then truly analyze if that is what you want to do or if that's what you feel like you have to do. Because for me, when I analyzed going to college or not, you know, part of it might just be because I was raised in a society that made me think that college was a necessity, but I had no control over the fact that I wanted to go to college, that I liked school and that I liked education and I would have done college again in a heartbeat. I did not want to go get like a full-time job when I was 18 years old. Like I really wanted to learn and to grow and college was that for me. Some people might want to go traveling. Some people might want to work, you know, at a company like in a different country and see the world and do things differently and, you know, just just understand that you have options. And yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Um, it's okay to do what society has paved out for you 
if that's what you want to do. For me, college was something that I wanted to do and it just so happened to be like the societal norm. For other people, it may be different and that's okay. I just want you guys to think about it because college is a big commitment and it's not super easy. Like it is hard and time consuming and a lot of money. So don't feel like it's something you have to rush into and it's okay to take a gap year and it's okay to do things your own way. So let me know what you guys think about all that I've said in this video. Let me know what you think about college, about higher education and about the pressure that society puts on us to feel like we have to go to college. So leave your comments down below. I love reading them. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening. I love you so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.